welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a small tutorial on 3D modeling game assets. That is the environment in 3ds Max. So let us get started. So parallelly our other tutorial of Kitchen will also carry on. So let us go into this, let us go into file, a view image file. I will open up some of the references over here. So let us go into this and I have taken some references for this uh, game assets over here. So we can take any of the references, let us we can start up. So let us take a box over here. So convert to poly. So whenever you are going with some game assets, make sure uh, you are creating a low poly model. So we will be achieving more of the things with the textures. So I will just add two segments over here in this way. Let us add two connect. That is it. So, let us select the polygons, extrude it a bit inside over here. Let us take a box over here. So select the polygons, just drag it down let us give two connect over here and slightly give a bit of inset and let us extrude it a bit inside ok. Let us give one auto, auto grid, no more details, just make a copy of it. So convert to poly. So we will be creating uh, mostly uh, low poly models over here. So I will just duplicate it. Let us just push it over here again make a copy of it. Let us take a line tool. I will just off the auto grid in this way. So I can just place it in this way. So enable in viewport, uh, I will make it as rectangular drag it in this way All right. That is it. If you want to drag it more, you can just drag it more. That is totally okay. 
So again, I'll go into this. I'll take a box over here onto the top. in this way so I'll just shuffle this up and slightly I'll rotate it so convert to poly Let's give to connect over here in this way. So I'll just select this. If you want, you can just uh, select and make it a bit straighter. So select the polygons and extrude it a bit inside in this way. Now again let us take a box over here. I will take a box. Let us just drag it up, convert to poly, drag it, push it out, push it up drag it down so I'll just activate this swift loop over here So select this polygons and let us extrude it out over here. So again I will add one swift loop over here and one over here. Extrude it a bit inside. So again I will go over here and I can just take a copy of it select the vertices drag it a bit out, drag it in this way, again I will go over here and I will put one swift loop, let us save this first. So, I will just save this file. Let us put one swift loop here as well in this way and if required you can slightly uh, just push this out. select the polygons and slightly extrude it a bit out select this and let us give a bit of extrude slightly push it inside so we will be doing very uh,
you need to select this as well now that's okay now select this extrude it select the polygons extrude it a bit inside select the polygons so convert to poly select the edges let's give to connect over here let's give to connect okay this much is okay So I can slightly extrude it a bit inside and we can just make a copy of it. All right. So we will be going with lot of stuff over here. So again I will select this and this and let us again extrude it a bit out over here. Select the vertices or I can just <coughs> push it out in this way. Now, again, you can take a box. Just drag it out, convert to poly. Again, just you can just push this up again in this way. If you need, you can uh, push it more up. I'll just drag it again over here. slightly I can rotate it, select the vertices and push this down. Alright, so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So long way to go I have many other references. So we will be creating one by one the environment kind of stuff, the old houses kind of, the game assets. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel if you are not subscribed yet. So thanks for watching this tutorial.